It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax. So we'll sing, chat, and laugh on the Curious Giraffe Show. I am so happy each of you could be here today. And I like for Jeanette, our hand puppet giraffe, to help us know who's who on the Curious Crew each time. And today I've asked Joelle if she will help Jeanette introduce our crew today. Go ahead. What's your name? Joelle. Hi, Hi Joelle. What's your name? Ariel. Hi, Hi Ariel. Ariel. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Julia. Hi, Hi Julia. What, what is your name? Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. What is your name? I'm Dorothy. Hi, Hi I'm Dorothy. Dorothy. Hi everybody. I'm glad to be back together. And so now we've met each other and this is Jeanette. Oh, I was just waiting for her to have a turn. I'm just so delighted to have you back and I want to swatch and listen, and sometimes sing, and sometimes ask questions, and sometimes answer questions. But I also want you to meet my good friend, George. He's different than me, but we like each other a lot. He loves to watch and look around and listen, but he doesn't talk very much. That's okay. We're all different, but we all belong. So we're going to sing a song about that. And you can hold the eagle, who's different than the giraffe. Can you turn around so the friends at home can see? There you go. Okay. And we sing the words, and then remember the sign language for the chorus. Giraffe looked over at the eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Very nice. Now here's our new verse for today. Giraffe looked over at the singers and said, Have you ever made up lyrics and the tunes to all your songs? The singers just must try must and hope it won't take long underneath this one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big High five, yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. So, what are they wondering about today? You just sang the verse, but in your own words, what are they wanting to know today? Julia? Um have how to make up the lyrics and the words to all the songs. That's right. So that's a new word I wanted us to stop and think about for a minute. Lyrics. Do you know what the word lyric means? Okay, Julia. Um, the lyrics are um, what the words to all the songs are. It's, like, yeah. It's just the words. But when they say lyric, you know it means the words in a song. All right, very nice. So, last time we did songs that were made up from our imagination. And the time before that, we did songs about real life, life that had happened. So, I'm curious, has anybody tried to make up their own song? Julia, have you? Would you share it with us? Okay, what was it about? I forgot because I made it up a long time ago. Uh-huh. Exactly. That's something that happens to me, too. 
I can make up a song, and then I try to remember it later, and I go, oh, shucks. But you know what we're going to do today? We're going to we're going to work together, and I'm going to write down. Okay, did you all make up a song? At your house? Um, Lauren made up a couple. Lauren did. Lauren, what were your songs about? Sophie makes up at least five every day. It, and Sophie is your sister too? Yeah. And how old is she? She's four. Oh my goodness. Well, good for Sophie. And Lauren, you like to make up songs? Well, this is a great show for you to be on. Because we're going to... So I thought, did you want to sing any of your songs? No. That's fine. I understand. But I thought, let's try writing a song together, and we'll start with a tune that we already know. So what I did was I wrote out a new verse for the giraffe song. Giraffe looked over at, and we're going to choose someone new for giraffe to ask a question. Anybody have an idea? Who should giraffe look at to ask a question? Donay, what's your idea? Um, a turkey. Turkey. Okay, I'm going to write in the word turkey. Giraffe looked over at turkey. Everybody be thinking, because you know what the next question is going to be. And said, so what would giraffe want to ask a turkey? Julia, you have an idea? Why do you have feathers? Okay. And why do I have um, fur? Awesome. Okay, why do you have feathers? Why do I have fur? All right, awesome. So who is going to shrug? Who is it? This, who, who's our song to? Anybody, call it out. Turkey. All right, yes. Yeah. So turkey just shrugged. What's his answer going to be? Why? Why do you have feathers? Why do I have fur? What might the turkey say back? Don't know. Because um, as I think I was born by an egg. Because I came from an egg. Let's see how that works. Why do you have feathers? Why do I have fur? Turkey just shrugged because I came from an egg. Is that what? Do you all like that? Yeah. Okay, what a fun song. All right. That's what's fun about when you write your own song. You can fill in the words. Because I... And what do you know about things that came from an egg? They get, when they come out, they're very slimy. Oh, <laughs> they're slimy at first? Yeah, How did you know they that? they grow the feathers. Then they grow their feathers. How yeah. did you know they're slimy when they first come out of egg? Because I had chicks in my cloth and they hatched. Okay, you got to see them right when they hatched. Yeah, and they're really wet and they pee while they're hatching. Cool. Anybody else have another idea of why turkeys have feathers and giraffes have fur? This is a tough question. I'm just curious. I'm not, I don't have a right or wrong answer. Are there any other thoughts about why a turkey has feathers? Okay, Julia. Because to impress the female. Oh, ho, ho, to impress the female. Cool. So I can get attention. So I, so I, you will like me. So I can impress. So I can get the female. That's harder to fit in there, though. Yeah. But it's a, a thoughtful answer. Okay. So let's sing our new song. Okay. Because you just made a new verse to a song we already know. Okay. Giraffe looked over at Turkey and said. Giraffe looked over at Turkey and said, Why do you have feathers? Why do I have fur? Turkey just shrugged, Cause I came from an egg. 
But we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different than we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. That is fun. And then you could talk about animals that come from eggs. Can you think of another animal that comes from an egg? Yes. Birds. Birds. And they have feathers, like turkey. Great. Yes, Ariel. Chickens. Chickens come from eggs. That's exactly right. I was going to say that. Okay, Julia? Penguins. Penguins come from eggs. Do they have feathers? Oh, uh, yeah. So far, yes. Do um, well. Fish. Fish come from eggs. They, don't they have, have a different feathers. kind of egg, don't they? But they don't have feathers. And sit louder, Julia? But they don't have feathers. And they don't have feathers, so that's an interesting thought. Emily? Platypus. Platypus. And do they have feathers? No. Nope. No, what do platypuses have? Webbed feet. They have web feet. What else do platypuses have? Let's finish this animal first. Or fish. What do fish have? Fins. Fins. Scales. And scales. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. So some things that come from eggs have feathers. Some have scales and fins. Some have web feet. And I think a platypus actually has fur. That's a tricky one. I thought it had That's scales an like dinosaurs. One. What? Other ones have scales like Others dinosaurs. have scales like dinosaurs came from eggs. Donate. Salamanders. Salamanders. And what is on their body? Um, they definitely have webs and like, and they have little, like little fingers. How cool is that? All right. Awesome. Yes, Julia. A swan. And a swan. Beautiful swans. And do they have feathers? Yes. Lauren. And ducks come from eggs. This is so fun. So, so your song can grow and grow. You could write more verses about different animals. Now I'm going to challenge us a new way. I don't know what you'll do with it. This is a song I've started writing, and I have not finished. And I wondered if you might help me think of more ideas about it. But I don't have the middle part yet. It goes like this. Whoops. Children have a lot to say. They see things in a different way. And they've been told that one fine day they will inherit the earth. Very nice. Do it again. Children have a lot to say. They see things in a different way. And they've been told that one fine day. Would you all are children, and I'm going to start with a blank page and think about what would you like to say? If you could say whatever you wanted to say, what would you say maybe about the earth? Any ideas? Okay, Donay. Um, the earth is big. Okay. Does anybody love to write? Julia, you want to be the, our writer? The earth is big. Okay. Thank you. So we won't forget our ideas. Okay. Now you had an idea. What would you say in the song? Um, I would say that the earth provides oxygen. Oh, great. What else? If you were telling the world about something important to you. Yes, Lauren. It has other planets on it. The there are planets. other planets. Do you have another idea for the song? Chickens live on the earth. Chickens live on the earth. This is going to be a fun song. All kinds of ideas. Okay. And maybe that's enough for now. Let's put that into our song. And see you what... Yes, outside. Yeah. Police. Could be. We hear, we hear the um, siren, don't we? Outside. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with our chorus 
and try to add our words. Hmm, I think I'm going to get quiet when we get to that part. If you have a tune in your head, let's see. Children have a lot to say. They say things in a different way. And they've been told that one fine day they will inherit the earth. You have a tune for the second part? Or we could go the same tune a little bit? The earth is bigger than you or me. <laughs> Make that a little longer. Okay. The earth provides our oxygen. There are other planets too. And chickens live on the earth. It's fun. Children have a lot to say. They see things in a clearer way. And they've been told that one fine day. Okay, now we're going to do something fun. We're going to not have to think of words, but we're going to add rhythm. Rhythm. So I've brought different kinds of rhythm. Pass it on. Pass it on. Giraffe looked over at the turkey. Ready? Giraffe looked over at the turkey and said, why do you have feathers? Why do I have fur? Turkey just shrugged, cause I came from an egg, and we all share one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along, cause we can all share. And we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to move my hands like this. And I want you to keep playing with no words. You're going to make a song that has no words. Go for it. Let's play faster. Okay. Let's play gently and a little pep, like a dance. Okay, beautiful. That was so fun. Okay, we only have time for one last song. So many stars, you can't count them all. Each little star is a great fireball. And I also wrote a new verse to it for so many songs you can't count them all each little song is a gift to us all home by yourself or in a big concert hall the music keeps coming for one and for all so here we go this is our last song for today so many stars we can From far away, our dreams may look small. Move toward them, believing they grow powerful. What do you believe when you switch on a light? Will the room remain dark or be suddenly bright? Well, the light switch was once just a dream in a mind. Now it's a powerful force in our time. Try singing with me. Here we go. So many stars, you can't count them all. Each little star is a great fireball. From far away, our dreams may look small. Move for them, believing they grow powerful. Start up your car. Will you drive off or just sit where you are? Well, the car was once just a dream in a mind, and now it's a powerful force in our time. Try it without me. 
soul. and sing our new verse. So many songs, you can't count them all. Each little song is a gift to us all. Home by yourself or in a kind concert hall. The music keeps coming for one and for all. Awesome. By yourself, so many songs. them all together. So many songs, we can count them all. Each little song is a gift to us all. All by yourself or in a great concert hall. The music keeps coming for one and for all. You all are so awesome. Thank you. Oh, oh, let's see. Okay, let's do the children have a lot to say one more time. Children have a lot to say. They see things in a different way. And they've been told that one fine day they will inherit the earth. The earth is oh so very big. The earth provides our oxygen. There are other planets and chickens live. these are homemade. Some of them were made by people from, uh, the buffalo drum was made by a Navajo chief. These were made by an Aboriginal artist. I made that one in a workshop. Someone else gave me that one. And someone else made the one on the end from a gourd. And the other one was a gift. So here we go. Let's join hands say, keep singing, keep looking up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Let's say thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.